Professor Steve Westling is the Director of Summary, the South Australian Health and Medical Research Institute, and joins us. Uh, Professor, good morning. Good morning, and thanks for having me on. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, have I overstated things? Is this going to be, no, make no, that no. much of a difference? No, not at all. I think we're sort of thinking that this is like going from a black and white TV to a high definition colour TV. So not only will it be more precise, but you'll be able to use colour to see the detail of what you're looking for. So this really is a dramatic increase in the precision of a CT scanner. So what, uh, what kind of things could be potentially picked up now that might have been missed in the past? So, for example, probably the first clinical trial we'll do on this machine will be to look at the arteries that go to the heart, the coronary arteries that block when you have a heart attack, and we'll be able to see inside those arteries. And not only that, we'll be able to see inside the blockage and see how active the blockage is and therefore determine what the best treatment for that blockage is. When will it be up and running? So we expect to, to arrive in the next couple of months and then we will be scanning people um, both for clinical reasons and research reasons in the last quarter of this year. And who can get a scan? Who might need to get a scan? So um, what we as SAMRI are excited about is the clinical trial. So people who, might, one of the trials will be people who have had a heart attack and then looking at how to prevent their next heart attack. Other trials will be um, cancer trials, people with particular cancers, um, but the scanner will also be available for clinicians to use routinely um, for patients with those sorts of conditions as well. And will you have to pay? You know, if I'm someone who's had a heart attack before and, and wants to get one of these scans, am I going to have to pay for it? No, no, the, the, um, the charging will be exactly the same as it is for a normal CT now. So um, the rebate... Um, so if, if your scan is necessary and there's a Medicare rebate, then that will occur. And in the clinical trials, obviously, people don't pay um, for the scans that are involved in the clinical trials that we conduct. I gather this is the first one that will be installed in the Southern Hemisphere. I can imagine for something like this, when you're talking about something that can change people's lives, probably a lot of people want it. What's the competition like to actually get a machine like this? Yeah, so that, that's the really exciting part. I mean, there's lots of exciting parts and the medical impact is probably the most important, but there's also a leadership issue here and I think it's terrific that South Australia is leading on this and this will be the first one, as you said, in the Southern Hemisphere. Obviously, that means the first in Australia. And so there'll be lots of other people and researchers around Australia who will be wanting to work with us in Adelaide on this. And often the, this sort of leadership comes, you know, you see it happening in Sydney or Melbourne, but here... In this area, we're, we're certainly leading and, uh, and working very closely with Siemens, who are the, the um, company that's making the scanner. Hmm. And so when did you say, if someone does want to access it, when could they and how do they go about it? Do you have to go through a GP or...? Yes, so, um, so in the last quarter of the year, um, and if someone needed the scan, then they would normally be probably either seeing their GP or a specialist, more likely a specialist. So if they were seeing their cardiologist, as an example, the cardiologist could refer them for this scan. Um, and uh, as I said, you know, we'll, we'll be running lots of clinical trials for people who may have heart disease or may um, have a, a problem with a, with a cancer or something like that. And obviously we'll make those very uh, public as well. Because I imagine, like you say, if there's a, a limited resource available and lots of demand of lots of different people that want access to use this, this machine for those people that are, are thinking oh maybe as a preventative thing or as a preemptive thing i'd like to get my heart checked out you, <laughs> is it fair to say probably not going to end up in front of this machine um so there um i have to be very careful answering that question obviously yeah, um, yeah. but you know we will actually be doing trials in which okay. we will look at the benefit of having one of these scans um, in order to prevent um, or uh, um, give you some sort of prediction about your future risk. The other important thing about this machine, which is not only is it sort of, um, you know, high definition colour, but it's also 50% less radiation. So the other thing that's uh, of interest to us is that people who have to have repeated CT scans, um, this will be a lot safer for them. And in particular, children who might have, say, lung disease, who need a repeated scan 
to follow their lung disease, the amount of radiation they'll be exposed to will be significantly less, and that's very exciting for us as well. Indeed. Well, Professor, thank you so much for taking the time to explain it to us, to us this morning. No problem at all. Great to be on. That is Professor Steve Westling. He's the Director of SAMRI, the South Australian Health and Medical Research Institute.